Uranium prices are nearing $59. Now, this is very positive. We started to see uranium stocks go up somewhat, but they're still not hitting those highs that we saw last year and definitely not in 2021. I'm gonna talk about exactly what I think is about to happen. During the early 2000s, spot uranium ran from $11 to $140, sending some uranium stocks up 10,000 to even 100,000% turning some small investors' investments of a few hundred thousand dollars into tens and even hundreds of millions of dollars profit. The question is, will this happen again? You see, uranium is beating out everything, okay? We click on uranium, you can see here, they're nearing that $59. But I've said for the past few years, we really need those long-term contracts to kick in. Just in the first few months in 2023 of this year, there's already a record amount of uranium buying, 120 million. And I think that this end of this year, this is gonna tick up even more. And what's crazy is inflation has went down and we're still, we're not at these prices we hit last year, but it's still starting to go up. So this is the spot uranium price. This is where we're at. And if you see here, this is where I think we're very close to being around here with this massive amount of contracting, term contracting. And they say 500 million pounds of E308 is expected to be contracted during this time. Now we're already going into 2024. So this big amount right here could come over the next few years. Look at this, it took three years, right? A lot of these companies are running low, these utilities, especially and in the US and then when Europe in the next couple of years is gonna be even crazier. US utilities, they have a lot less contracted so far. They have 70 plus percent soon that they're gonna to need to cover. And that's when you're gonna see these big moves. And really this is the only chart you need to know. Uranium can be boring to people. The overall uranium market, there's just, you know, there's only a finite amount of stocks that are worth anything. The ones that actually have uranium, the ones that, that actually can get into production. These are the market caps here. There are a few down here that are still good, but a lot of the other uranium stocks, they could run up just as much. Uh, but you can see since 2020, look at the prices. This was the price in 2020 that I was able to buy. And I bought every single one of these stocks. I think there's a couple on there that obviously weren't in 2020, but I had bought all of them almost near the low. And I'd sold out of almost all of these since, but because the, the market has gone way higher than this and dropped. But you can see that this there isn't much selection when it comes to uranium production around the world. So in the US, especially a lot of these companies are gonna, I see, see new highs very quickly. Now, Centris Energy, LEU was my biggest bet. That's what I've been buying since $4. It recently hit 24 a couple months ago. I told everyone about it. I told them that I think that, thought that it was FUD, the reason that it sold off. And at 24, almost immediately, it started to run up to the 30s. I uh, got in at 24. Centris Energy is a big one. I think a lot of US producers, those are the ones that I'm getting in production that I want to follow. UEC, Encore Energy, Energy Fuels. A lot of these companies, these are the ones that I've invested in the past and that I want to invest in again. But I think the big winner really is going to be Centris Energy because of the nuclear fuel side. They pretty much are going to have a monopoly. Now, some big things still going on. Canada sanctions Russian nuclear sector. So you're going to start to see this probably in the U.S. If it finally happens, we've been covering it for over a year and a half now. If the U.S. starts to really crank down on this, I think that the stock is going to see very volatile moves to the downside possibly. And like I said, we had seen this go down to $24 right here. This was the end of May into June. And this was when I told everyone, I said, this is insane. I've bought this stock as low as $4 and I sold it on the way up. And last year I traded this stock as well. It hit 17, wrote it all the way to like $54 is what it went up to. I rode a lot of that wave. If you don't believe me, this was when I posted it on the first, said I'm buying Citrus Energy LEU Leaps. I think I just got them for a flash sale deal and I did 100%. Uh, the bill that everyone was scared of 1111. Even uh, John Quakes put out there, he was saying that he thought it was a bad thing for them. And I was like, I even commented on it. I said, this is not, if you read the bill, it's actually very good for them. Uh, and I said, they could also have possibly waivers. So this stock last year, it had a 20% drop as well uh, during this 
whole Ukraine thing. And it recovered. It went to 17 then. So I was jumping in, but I bought, told everyone in the Discord, just like this live, I said I bought these leaps, the $30 June leaps, which were turned out to be almost a 25 bagger, 2,500%. I only wrote it up to about 800%. But uh, on my keyboard, because this was such a finite window, I only bought, I bought only 10% of what I wanted to buy. I wanted to buy 10 times this amount. So I only bought like $2,000 worth. You can see here. Um, where was it? Cause it had already started to go up and I, I didn't want to chase it because I was really wanting to get the leaps into next year. So you can see here, Center Synergy into, uh, June 16th was the, those, the $30 ones. And it, it was at 24. So these were a flash sell 20 cents. And this ended up running up to like 2000 plus percent before this, just within this little amount of time. So it was a, a crazy deal. One of my best flash crash trades, um, what I really should have done, because I knew I should have got probably 50 times this amount, maybe even 100, and it would have been a, just a, a, a ridiculous gain, right? Uh, but I didn't. I, I ended up getting the the majority, what I put a lot of money into was the 45s and the 30s, and those ended up being phenomenal gains. So, um, you know, I, I see these types of moves in the market. I think uranium is going to continue to have these volatile moves, especially since your synergy but um, really the uranium market, all you really got to know, just the update is look at that chart. Look at how much volumes already came in. Look at the price and look at where this is probably going to go. We're not even talking about, you know, if there are issues with uranium coming out of Russia, because those things could happen. I think that's a, a, a black swan initially for Centris Energy. You know, people are going to sell it off, but I'm going to get into that stock definitely because I think long term, it's going to be a very good stock, very strong. The war in Ukraine has revealed how dependent we've become in the United States and the West on foreign nations for energy commodities. Alarmingly, our overdependence of enriched uranium from Russia. But Russian enriched uranium is not for weapons. It supplies nuclear power plants in the United States and the EU, accounting for an alarming 20% of their annual fuel requirements. Nuclear power generation is 20% of the entire US baseload power. Without this fuel, the power grid would collapse, causing nationwide blackouts, civil disorder, supply chain disintegration, and a breakdown in essential institutions. We saw a preview of this last year in Texas when the catastrophic blackouts left over four and a half million people without power. Last week, President Biden followed the lead of Congress and finally banned the imports of Russian oil, Russian natural gas, and coal. But he did not ban the imports of Russian uranium to the United States. Russia is our third largest supplier of uranium. I believe we need to eliminate our dependence on Russian uranium, and I introduced legislation earlier this week to do just that. We also need to jumpstart American uranium production. This includes mining, conversion, and enrichment services. There are only two sources of high assay, low enriched uranium in the world, Russia and the U.S. Department of Energy. We can't allow advanced, America's advanced reactor developers to be dependent on Russia. So I intend to introduce legislation to first ensure the department is taking the steps necessary to establish domestic enrichment, and second, to make DOE produced high assay, low enriched uranium available. It's the only way to avoid dependence on Russia. The U.S. also relies on Russia and two of its closest allies, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, for nearly half of its physical uranium. But the U.S. is not alone. Russia also supplies over 40% of the world's nuclear power plants in 32 countries with enriched uranium that could be cut off overnight, causing uranium prices to skyrocket. These uranium stocks, if you want access to these uranium stocks, has my portfolio down here, my options, whatever I buy, has all pretty much uranium stocks that I've bought in here. And then there's, there's also uranium stocks in here that have switched from other sectors that I put a caution on because they've done, they were not original uranium stocks. And then I have a bunch of other stuff in here, but if you want to see my uranium stock tier sheet, tier list, I update this also uh, daily. And then also there's a bunch of other stuff in here. You have uranium content daily that I update people on. A lot of people said, why are you talking about uranium? I talk about it daily inside the discord. Really uranium on my YouTube channel, Nobody wants to watch this stuff, so I don't put as many videos out. If you're watching it now, thank you. Hit the like and subscribe, because then I'll know you want these videos. But I was doing updated videos 24-7 on Uranium Shorts, and really no one wanted to watch them anymore. 
uranium was in a downturn and I, and I told people I'd sold my uranium stocks and I said, you know, I bought the low, I wanted to sell. Thankfully, I got out near the high. Now, I think uranium is in this healthy spot, but you gotta still look at the overall market. They're a big risk if the overall market has issues. It does not mean that uranium prices won't go higher, but the uranium stocks could see very volatile moves to the upside and then downside. Because a lot of these stocks, a lot of these uranium stocks, they're very speculative if they're not making any money, they're not bringing in a, you know, any uranium, and they're not producing, then it's a, definitely a big speculation. But if you guys want access to this or the Discord, you want to see when the next huge crazy move in a stock is, I find flash crash deals like this all the time. If you look at my past, Meta, Carnival Cruise, Advanced Auto Parts was one in the $63 range and it ran to $75. PayPal in about $58, $59 and it ran to within a month and a half, two months, it ran to almost $77. So all these things in the market, I'm always keeping an eye on. Write in the comments below, do you want me to make more uranium content videos? Lady, it's looking like everything perfect. Out the mud with it, I put the work and you can find me.